This is the Little Moto Perpetual by Bowman Book 4. There is actually a second one, which is harder than this, which is why I call this the Little one. Now, the trickiest spot in this piece is three measures or three lines from the end because you're doing a lot of string crossing. So you're going to practice it like this. Now drop, raise. Actually, that's not how you go to practice. You're going to practice like this. Drop, raise, drop, raise, drop, raise. You're going to practice it with a stop every time you change strings. Now notice my arm. I'm not flopping around much. I'm staying pretty condensed. And that's how you get to pull it off fast. You don't do that fast right away. You practice the string crossings. Fix, 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 fix. Keep your arm down. Or fix, 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 fix. Okay? Now, I'm going to go to the beginning. No, I'm not. The last four bars. You have a B, circle, set the E, C sharp A, center your bow on the A string, sorry, and lift them all out together. So you have a B set, and, and up in the air. By your ear. Okay, here's the introduction. by more bow motion. I'm not doing them by pressing harder. I'm just using a faster bow. This is probably a good exercise. Okay, part B. Starts piano.
be nice to hit that last chord in tune. 